Are you a runner or someone who exercises but struggles to carry while doing so? Then this video is for you. Brian Kirby here with Take Aim TV. In this episode, we're gonna discuss some of the concealed carried options that you have when exercising. So there's a few options out there for people who like to exercise and concealed carry. There's a clothing brand that makes exercise apparel, uh, like sweatpants, shorts, and stuff like that, that is made to hold the weight of a traditional holster. Uh, there's other holster companies out there too as well that make special kind of clips and stuff like that. Uh, the other option a lot of people go with is belly band holsters. And that leads me to the Alien Gear belly band holster we're reviewing today. This is the Alien Gear Low Pro belly band holster. So the pistol I'm using for this holster setup is the Ruger LCP2 380. The reason I'm doing so is because when I run, I wanted to go with my lighter weight pistol. I did not want to carry the larger Glock 48 that I carry normally uh, when exercising just because of weight alone. The band is made of a vented neoprene, which I found breathed pretty well. This is the same material I believe they use like on their ankle and holster and things like that that I've tested in the past. Uh, it seems very durable. Time will tell on this model how long it'll last. The stitching that is around it seems very well done. And uh, I, I think durability wise, it's gonna do well long term. The pistol is held in with their molded plastic shell on the outside and then on the inside it is that alien gear texture that they use with an inner steel core that holds the pistol in place. The retention is really well, that pistol is not going anywhere. When you holster it you get a nice secure click that everyone likes to hear. The trigger is also fully covered. Uh, regardless, whenever you're holstering a concealed carry setup, always make sure you're clearing your garment well. And remember, there's never a reason to holster fast. So make sure you get your garment cleared and you're putting the pistol in the holster safely. The retention is fully adjustable. So the can itself is fixed. I found the draw seemed fine for me. I heard other people's complain they don't like the angle of it on the draw. Obviously, if you're used to appendix carry or carrying a different position on your body, you will have to practice for this. But I found going to the range that I adjusted very quickly to that angle of the draw cycle. One thing you need to be cognizant of is that that pistol is canted to your side. So if you have someone next to you, especially if you're at a training course or something like that, you could possibly flag them. So you need to be aware of where that pistol is pointed, even when holstered, and make sure that you're not flagging the person next to you and that you're being safe. So let's get to concealability. This is going to be 100% down to body type, posture, uh, the size of your chest and how you, you know, if you're pushing out and how your shirt lays. Uh, I found with certain shirts, this concealed really well. Uh, with hoodies, it concealed really well. Um, with more tighter, thinner, athletic shirts, I printed a little bit. It's gonna really come down to a lot of factors and your body type. If you have a really small frame, you may find it almost impossible to conceal with this setup. You are carrying in the part of the body which is a little more difficult to conceal because it's the stomach area versus like lower in the waist. I personally was able to conceal pretty good. In a work great while running, I did two five mile runs with this so far and it's comfortable, you don't notice it. Something I should mention though, I think if you're gonna carry a larger pistol, I think you're gonna have a hard time concealing it. It's hard to hide the grip of a gun, especially at that part of your body because the belly band is tight against you, but the grip is gonna stick out a little bit. So the larger the gun, the harder it is gonna be able to conceal. If you have other Alien Gear shells, on this model, it is not swappable because of the way they screw in. Um, another downside is this cannot accept pistol optics. Once again, where their screws are for where this connects to the holster itself would block and be in the way. There's a lot of belly band holsters on the market. This isn't the only one. Uh, there's tons of them out there. I would definitely stay away from the ones, though, that are the one-size-fits-all for pistols, where it's just a neoprene that you shove your pistol in that doesn't have a solid trigger guard. Uh, I don't like that idea. I also don't like the fact that the pistol is just kind of in there or Velcroed in. You're not going to be able to get that out in a timely fashion if you're in a self-defense situation trying to un-Velcro it and get your pistol out. I would recommend something that has a shell. I obviously like this about this model is that it's got a hard shell, your trigger guard's protected, and it's in there. I could shake this thing upside down, do all the things you always see in these videos, and the pistol is not going to fall out based on the retention I have set. This isn't gonna be how I carry all the time. This is how I'm going to carry when wearing elastic shorts, sweatpants, joggers, things like that, where I'm not gonna have belt loops. So 
as always, train for that. Make sure you practice dry fire training with this setup so that way you know how to draw and get comfortable with the idea of it being different from how you traditionally carry. For more information on this holster, if you want to purchase it or whatever, go to the link below in the comments or in the description. They also have on their sizing options as well, so you can pick your size. It's not a one size fits all, which is great, so that way you don't have tons of extra material. You get close to your size. Uh, but on the other hand though, it still has some room for adjustment. So if you're feeling a little bloated that day, you can loosen it up, or if you lost a little weight, you can tighten it down. So this holster is made in the USA, which obviously whenever you're buying holsters, buy American made holsters. There's such a variety of great American manufacturers who make holsters. So stick with American made holsters. Uh, Alien Gear makes all of their holsters in America. Uh, this does also have their 30 day test drive where if you don't like it, you could send it back uh, and get your money back. This does have a three year warranty on it. So if something goes wrong within three years, they will cover you as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below if this is an option that you would look for while exercising. In future videos, we're going to explore this topic more of how to concealed carry while exercising, running, etc. Because I feel like it's a place that more people need to explore. A lot of people leave their guns at home because they're just uncomfortable or inconvenient. And I like to try to bring as many options to the table as possible. This is one of them. And uh, stay tuned for future videos to see what else we have in store. Remember everybody, stay aware, carry often, and we'll see you next time.